Hello everyone, welcome to the Hit the Mic with Addison. Here in the station we'll be talking about the new and the fresh student here in China. I have a guest here in the station today with me, all the way from Saudi Arabia here in China to study. And he's here today with me here in the station and we're going to be discussing a lot of things today. Uh, let me give to him to introduce himself. Please, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, my name is Khattab, you can call me Kato. It's my Chinese name. I'm happy to discuss this topic with you today, inshallah. It's okay. Yeah, of course. All right, thank you so much for being in the session today with me. Oh, Mr. Qatar, please, can you tell us what are your difficulty you have gone through or just for this period of time you've been here in China? Yeah, of course. One of them is the food. The food, uh, you know, is the important thing in, in this life. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got you yeah. in your stomach. It will taste what you are. Yeah, to <laughs> live in this, in this life. First, when I came here, I went to I went to a restaurant. I didn't know what to tell him. Even. I can't even speak. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. can't say ni hao, ni hao. <laughs> just, yes, only I just ni wanted the food. I told him I want this one. It was not that good, but I just, I was hungry. You have to anything. put something in your stomach. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I understand. Me, when I came to China too, it was like that. I, first of all, when I arrived here in China, I don't have any idea of uh, things here in China. Mostly, I don't have any clue. I just came here as a fresh guy and I, 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 I walk here. So then, I, it was like a, a little difficulty for me because I don't have that idea of the language, uh, you know, this language, very rare stuff. And I was like, I went to the store to get some stuff like cream. As I went to the store, I just say, okay, let me buy some cream and I pick about cream to use at home. When I got home, after taking shower, then I tried to apply the cream on my body. To tell you the fact, what I bought was a shampoo. <laughs> I said, what? I bought, I just take my bed and now I just drop my, drop the cream on my body. It's sticky and I said, this is no cream. What's this? So I went back to the cellar. I say, I went with a Chinese friend that can speak English and I said, please can you help me translate this to the cellar what I bought? I, I think it's a mistake. So the cellar said, you bought shampoo, not cream. <laughs> I said, God. So uh, this is how it is. And that was my first challenge and experience. So I think so many people pass all these challenges, but yeah. it's normal to, to pass all those tests. And that was the thing that pushed me to learn more of Chinese, not to, I don't need like to be de de depending on somebody to help me buy things or go to the grocery store and buy some things I want for myself. So that's a normal thing. So anybody who's coming to the China show, at least have a, a knowledge. Yeah, of course, before I come, I still study like the basic things. Oh, so that's that, quite good. So that I come, I have idea. I, not just I come, then I, I be shocked about everything. Oh, it's, it's very, very good to come to a place and have a knowledge of the place you're going to. Now that you are already here and uh, you, you, you know the basic one, the ones you learn from your homeland coming to China, is it the same that you hear from the locals here? Yeah, of course. You know, when, uh, I think they call it Botonghua uh, in uh, what yeah. we study, yeah. So uh, sometimes, for example, let me give you an example. Uh, it means what are you doing? Yeah. But when you go outside, maybe you will find him tell you Niganma or like this. Nikama. Yeah, Niganma. What is this? Nikama. Or the dialect people, they can say, Nikomode. The dialect, the Kwa Chanda Kwa will say, Nikomode. Ni Nijaya. Ni Juna. Ni Nikazagama. Nikomode, it means, what are you doing, also? Yes. You see, you see, so it's like that because the dialect is quite different from the one you learn in school, the one you learn in the class. Because those ones you learn in the classes, the central language is the official language of mm. Pudongkwa is just the official language. But the different one, the problem there is that when people learn the the one in the classroom, they try to speak it to the locals, and some of the locals don't understand it unless you speak the dialect. Because I've been in a taxi, and when I'm in taxi, I said, I speak, I will speak the language for to the test. You say, uh huh? 
<laughs> he was replying me and said, Nijosha. I said, what do you mean by Nijosha? So I keep trying to understand that until I get, I get used to the, the locals because yeah, you need to get used to them so that you can understand. As you knew in the time, you need to learn more about them too. All right, and let's talk about you. You are a Muslim and uh, you came to China. And China is not a, uh, a religion con country, but there's some Muslim here. So how do you find the food that is not haram? There is a canteen. Muslim canteen. Wow. So, yeah, so yeah, I can oh, go every time there. That means Yesco loves you guys so much eh? because mm -hmm. to have a uh, Muslim canteen is like. Uh, treating you guys special, you guys yeah, are special. Yeah. That that's quite good. But outside your school, there's a lot of uh, Muslim yeah, shops course. around the yeah, around course. the town because I know quite much. At least I know four of Muslim restaurants here in the town that I used to go to eat with some of my friends. Some of my friends they are Muslim too. So know that. So um, on your study, what what exactly? What's your major now? What's your major? Uh, now I'm studying uh, Chinese language, but I'm planning to uh, enter uh, university next year. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, it's good because if you come to a place, you need to know more about the people, the mm -hmm. culture, and the uh, things they do. So, in your life and your financial state now, are you still? Are you? Do you have anything like a part-time job, or your see depend on your parents to? Uh, but about to get about job, especially. If for me, I just come to China. I just have student visa, okay. so I cannot. Uh, it's not. A, yes, it's a now I, I I guess that because okay, I know so. I know in China, students aren't allowed to work. Mm. They aren't allowed to do anything apart from study. And uh, how is the weather here? The climate change because you 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 change from uh, con your country is a warm country mm. and you come to. Uh, a country that is different, they have snow, they have uh, trees, uh, four in, seasons. Yeah, they have four seasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, rain, rain is not even part of the season. <laughs> rain, <laughs> if you put it, that means you have rainy season, which is going to become four, uh, five seasons. But here we have four seasons, we have uh, winter, we have, yeah, we have winter, we have summer, we have fall, and we have uh, spring. So mm -hmm. the weather in the, in your country, does it snow? No, I, especially in my city, never. You never snow yeah. before, okay. And uh, it, what, what about the weather? Because here in summertime, the weather is quite different. Okay. It's just summer and winter. Okay. But when I came here, there is, there is a, no, it's fall. <laughs> okay. First time when you saw snow, how did you feel? Since I came to China, I, I was just waiting for that day to come. Okay. So, yeah, when I came, uh, when when just that day come, I was seeing the phone, the weather. So uh, I just saw the snow. It was even at night. I just went out, uh, just sitting out, waiting for snow. <laughs> it was just a little, but I'm waiting. I, I want. You want the snow. see the snow? Yeah. So then I went uh, in the morning. There was a lot of snow, and there was like. Very happy. <laughs> I mean that yeah. uh, snowman. You make a snowman. Yeah. Ah, because you you seen it on movie. Yeah, and just, it's just no. Nah, it's real. So yeah. you you want to make a snowman and uh, so that's good. I I think you, you can enjoy China. China has everything you want. I think yeah. there's nothing you want here. You can get whatever you want to have here in China. China has everything. The thing you hear on social media about this, the people talk about China, say China has a bad law, they don't respect the citizen, they don't talk about it, because in social media they have a lot of propaganda against China. They say, oh, there's a dictatorship here, that people don't have the freedom. Is it what you're seeing here in China as you came to China? No, no, absolutely no. Chinese are, are very friendly and they are happy to like, when, especially when they say foreigners, oh, foreigners, hello, hello, I don't want to try to help you, I don't want, but just because we hear about them that they eat everything, I don't know what we think that they are dangerous. Yeah. yeah but they are, 
the social media will tell us. They tell us a lot of things that is happening in China. Mm -hmm. They will tell us, oh, China is bad, China is this, China is wicked. You cannot even do something properly in China. That you can't be free. Yeah, there is, there is happening in social media. They put all kinds of label China as one of the worst countries, dictative country, that country that they don't have freedom. But we are foreigners who are living here. We got a freedom. We do what we want to do. It's mind your business. Yeah. The studying method in your school and the study method in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. you guys have that kind of avenue to exploit the learning side of the teaching here. How do you see them? Is it almost the same or different? What are the differences between them? Um, I don't have that experience about like about how they teach here, but uh, as what I see now is is like it's very good the way how they teach. That's quite good. Okay, thank you so much for this insight okay. and thank you for uh, writing all this topic with us and uh, thank you everyone out there listening to the station. I think we, we have heard a lot from the from you and what you said and so all the students out there that want to come to China to study, it's open country. They are open, not like what you see on social media. So what advice are you going to give to the people? Uh, I want to give them one thing is that when you come to China, you have to you have to uh, search about it before you come. You have to read about the roads because uh, I know some some friends of mine. They uh, they came here just to work, but they they come just with uh, with student visa, and the Chinese are in the and in the roads are like. Yeah, as a student, you have to focus on your education. They make it clear that you have to focus on your education. Mm -hmm. If you are a student, you don't work. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You have to focus and study. You don't need to be working and studying. No, it's not. It's not allowed here. So I, those people that do those, they are there. What now? They will be deported when they got. They, they get caught. They go and deport them because mm -hmm. they don't have to be working. They don't have to be schooling and working. It's not allowed here, unless if you have the the permission yeah. to do that. But I, I have not seen who got those permission available, except those who are doing their uh, internship or any other thing that the, the school allowed you to do. That's those who that will have a different visa for that. But I, I, I don't I have not seen much in this country. So if we come here to study, you should focus on your study. Yeah. I think yeah. you, you should know. Since you already know that, you mm -hmm. too should focus on your study and your friend. You can advise them to also do the same thing. Don't break the law. Because if you fight, you go to the hospital, the other, the other person that win, go to jail. If you win, <laughs> if you win, you go to jail, and the person that loses goes to the hospital. So the law is like that. That means you shouldn't fight at all. You shouldn't have quarrel. And both of you win, you go to jail. <laughs> you see how the law is? <laughs> if you fight, you win, you go to jail. And the person that loses goes to hospital. And if you lose, you go to the hospital. The person that win goes to jail. And if you, both of you win, both of you go to jail. <laughs> so that's the law here. You don't fight. You don't break the law. So you have to respect the law okay. and keep your mind shut out from the government because you're not a politician. You're not a lawmaker. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay away from the politics here because that's one thing in this country. If you are doing things, you mind your business. You go to what you're doing. You're a student. You mind your study. If you're a business, you mind your study. Uh, your business. If you're working, you mind your work. Leave the politics for the people that is doing politics, those politicians, those lawmakers. So you're not a lawmaker. So yeah. that's one thing about this law here. They make it clear for you to understand that this is the rules. Live by the rule. Or if you don't want to live by the rule, you have to leave the country for them. Because mm -hmm. they, they are here when you came. So they will also be here when you go. So I, I would advise any student out there who is trying to come to this country to leave their study and go to work. It's dangerous. It's quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. That means you don't value your your opportunity given to you to come here to yeah. study. You you're going to ruin it mm -hmm. because you're working and uh, studying. 
it's not part of the country rule. Yeah. So it's, you have not to, allowed to do it. Yes, you're not allowed. So, All right. Yeah, so just what you want to tell them before you go to the country is not, the rules is different. It's not like your country. You have to read about it. You have to know like a lot, a lot of things before you go. Yeah, you got to know. You need to research and know about the law. So yeah. when they say jump, jump, because you're already in your home. You have to jump with them. They say, don't jump, don't jump. Yeah. Don't look, don't look, because that is their country, and this yeah. is their rule. They say, my heart's my rule. <laughs> Do you don't understand that word. Yeah, yeah. My heart's my rule. That's what it is. You are here, you have to live by the rule. Okay. Thank you so much for that, and thank you for being mm -hmm. in the station with me. And thank you, all our viewers. We say we love you, and we'll always be here to update you with what's happening. And thank you for being our subscriber and also those who have not subscribed that have watched try to subscribe and share to your friends and this is your friend edison always be here by the hit the mic with edison mm -hmm.